Hello everybody, Rise the Raging Dragon here, and welcome to the Crooked Man. So let's get into this, and I do know this is like a old uh, nursery rhyme. Okay, so let's get into this. Sorry, it took me a minute to figure out how to get in there. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak apart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Whew! Finally, things look tidy in here. Now, yeah, of course, as you can tell, this is a um, RPG-style game. Um, that should be that, Marion. Uh, is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. <clears throat> and thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Okay, so how am I supposed to move? Is it WASD or is it uh, arrows? Okay, it's the arrows. Alrighty. And I'm assuming, like... He will, um, okay, maybe it's just, oh, the fuck, Oh, there, okay, I have to hit enter, an old TV, yeah, really, oh, I didn't think that, huh, sheesh, Paul forgot his license, I should get it to him if he's still around, yeah, you really should, oops, An old computer. No, I thought it was brand new. It looked like a flat screen. Huh? You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. <clears throat> it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? Can't even afford much furniture. <clears throat> Excuse me. Besides, you told me to look for that for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait. I guess. Better get to bed. Okay. Yeah, hold your horses, Bump. God damn it. Go in the bathroom. The fuck is this? A washer in the bathroom? Yep, it's a washer. Oh my Jesus, you're a loud son of a bitch phone. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Alright then. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. That sounds like a good idea. Oops. Man, I'm tired. Well, you better be. 
Your friends were just bitching about you. Why is there crying? Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Mm -hmm. Complaining doesn't exactly do much for you. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Gets no resp- oh, What the fuck is that? <coughs> yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just, I can hear you from my room, even if it's making it hard to sleep. Oh, no, it- it is making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? I'm a fucking goddamn idiot. Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You live in the ghetto? Is this Detroit? <laughs> You're the guy who moved in the 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so? Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Most likely. Whatever. Better go back to sleep. And yes, this one is... God damn it. Go in the door. Um... Is that the sink? Is that my sink? I think. No. Okay, that must be the tub then. A shower. Well, goddamn, what the hell's going off? Is it this sink? Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Most likely. Ow. That was bullshit. Hmm. Under the bed. Well, what the fuck is under my bed? <clears throat> under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Oh, yeah, you gotta look, huh? Hmm, found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Oh my god! Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? I don't know. What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Uh, maybe. Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Good idea. Good idea there, Slappy. That sound still? Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. No, 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 you really don't. I mean, you could go 11 day consecutive days without sleep before you go criminally insane. Clinically insane. Fucking phone. Jesus Christ. Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No. No, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in till noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Yes, of course. I'm assuming... Oh, here you are. Paul, what is it? Yeah, uh... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So... You going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Well, I don't wanna. 
Oh, yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror. What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? A very big childish brat. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Damn it. Somebody just said damn it. That's fine. No need to go in here. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, hi. Oh, that's her stereo. Radio. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? <clears throat> Excuse me again. Oh my, if it isn't my little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much, I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room. With furniture and everything, it's near your favorite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Ooh, they sound a little bit on the naughty side, if you know what I mean. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. <clears throat> Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Nah, that, that, that's actually sad. Oh. Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? M ma Get out. I'll leave you, I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody, there's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Miss Hoover. <clears throat> Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. B but she said... I said leave. <laughs> There's some paranormal shit going on there. <laughs> oh, the exorcist! Miss Hoover, please calm down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, there's some fucked up shit here. We need an exorcist. Bring the sedatives. Uh, uh, with an old priest and a young priest, if you will. Oh, well, here's a uh, old doctor. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? No. Yeah. Oh, I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better. So you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. I keep going walk past my fucking room. Um. Okay. The fuck was this? Oh. My chair moved. Why did the chair move? <clears throat> Why won't you look into the thing? Talk, examine the chair, you ass fuck. 
Did I move that chair? Why do I have to be facing the fucking desk? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. What is it? Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better off after is better after all, huh? I guess you could say that. Said sometimes you might end up finding. No, oh my God, I'm trying to talk here. Um, shit, sometimes you might actually find some good shit in old furniture. Hello? Hey, David, how are you doing? Ha, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? Ooh, dirty, dirty. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... <coughs> Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. Yeah, hang up that fucking phone. Oh, I was about to say going to bed already without me doing shit. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Okay. Uh, TV, go away. Hi, with that shit. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Nope. Oh, hi, sink. Ah. Glow. What? This is creepy. Really? Like, no, it said sing. Like, you know, la, 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 la. Did it say sink? What was that? I don't know. Let's just go check the fucking sink. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. Cool. There was a crooked man. And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against the crooked style. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a little crooked house. Is this a Mother Goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? Nope. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. You know, sleeping doesn't work like that. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... It didn't work out that way. Is that a kid out here? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Gee, if it's the fucking ghetto, a lot. Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Okay, you do that. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Bet you were already a fucking sleep. Hi. Wow. What the hell broke in my apartment this time? This time. We'll come in here. Uh, nothing seems out of the ordinary. And everything's fine there. Do -do -do. Go in the fucking. What's this? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Help who? Coffee says... Coffee says, huh? You gotta be kidding me. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? The Twilight Zone. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha <laughs> ha. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? 
a crooked man. Nah, I don't know. You ask the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Do, do, do. What's this? Oh, that's the coffee. Do, 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 do. Don't know, no. What? Yeah, these fucking... Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. <clears throat> I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. Oh. Sorry for the manly voice all of a sudden. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. There's, yeah, there's, it's not like there's billions of people around your age, buddy. Why there? Okay, I guess we're gonna just follow this to here. Why are these tracks on the floor? <clears throat> they lead all the way up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? The stuff that makes you high. Illegally. <laughs> Brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Uh, are we going to go find out? The guy's voice. The kid's voices. The mirror writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. Ha. Huh. It's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Oh, well, somebody's got a... shit feeling for themselves. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Not much you see, you you see. Wow, not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Okay, doctor. The fuck is that now? <clears throat> Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? An old TV, that's not what's on. That's not what's going on either. Hmm. Okay. There's a large crack in the wall. Okay, I just seem to be a shit ton of lost here. A refrigerator. Alrighty then. I'm just having a shit ton of issues right now. Aha! It came from an 
here. Yeah, open it, buddy. Let's see what's in there. Radio? What? What? Oh, shit. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, everybody. You guys can pause the video and read that when you're ready. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's a, an address. Our special place. Where is that supposed to be? You know, down below the belt area. Got a paper with an address. All right, let's go get some special places. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do I... Pull up... My inventory. Really need to know how to do that. Okay, let's put X, okay. I can't even see what the hell is in my inventory. Like, why is... Oh, item. God damn it, I'm using the mouse. That's not what I need to use. Cell phone. Cigarettes. Notebook. Scrap. Has an address, okay? So, it says, our special place that, and an address. So, what the hell is the address? 203. Looks to be empty. Looks to be empty. 202. 201. Okay, let's come down here. Looks to be empty. 105. Looks to be empty. 103. The landlady's room. Yeah, let's not go in there. No need to go. Okay, so I guess we're going back to bed then. Or, yeah, why the fuck weren't you going back up the stairs? You were right in front of them. Jesus Christ. Looks to be empty. 206. Okay, yeah, I guess back to bed then. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm waiting for you. Good for you. Wow, that's some bullshit. I'm, I'm waiting for you. What? Why did? How? And when did it? What? Why? Ah! Sorry, that one actually startled the piss out of me too. So you sleep well last night? Sorry, I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha! Huh, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why you? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, seriously though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. Hey. <clears throat> Goddamn. And I didn't bring a drink with me when I decided to start recording. I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Yes, I really am. Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping, and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Ha. Huh. Well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Oh, great idea. Where are you going? This somewhere I was one I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like 
this address is in the mountains, about a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go there? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Well, I'll go right now. Can't stand this place anyway. Hmm. Prologue. David's room. End. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to end this episode of The Crooked Man. I don't know how many more episodes there will be, but I will get them to you as fast as I can. And as soon as I can, there will also be more of Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Five Nights at Candy's 1, <clears throat> coming your way as soon as I... As soon as I can figure out what the fuck is going on with the goddamn gaming bullshit. You know, with me having to do this song and dance and button pushing before it pops up and keeps resetting my bullshit data. But anyways, thanks for watching. Long live the dragon.